What's up, everybody? For all those who think all grams are created equal, this is for you. What's up, everybody? It's Sam from District Coaching Concepts, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to properly weigh your food. Now, when dealing with a macro plan, one of the biggest misconceptions is, does the macro equal the weight of the food? Which the answer is no. For example, when I get chicken in my plan and it says 25 grams of protein, do I weigh 25 grams of chicken? The answer is no. What you do is you take, for example, in your MyFitnessPal or whatever program that you have that's listing, the, if you have a food list, for example, it'll show you four ounces of chicken will equal X amount of protein. So what I would like you to do is take four ounces of chicken, weigh that on your scale in your Tupperware or in your plate, and then plug it into your MyFitnessPal. It'll give you a protein number, which is about 25 grams. The same thing for when you're weighing your rice. Rice, 25 grams of carbs, for example, will equal about 75 grams of rice. So these are the equations that you're looking to do when you're plugging them into your MyFitnessPal. You're looking to type in the weight that you weighed, and then it will equate to the number of macro when you plug it in to the MyFitnessPal. Um, a lot of times when you scan your foods, for example, chicken right here, when you scan it, you plug it in, it'll ask you what the weight of the food is. It'll also give you a serving size, which will be a weight amount, which will equate to the macro, which is listed on the label. Make sure that when you're plugging it into MyFitnessPal that it matches what you have on this label. That's also very important. This is just you double checking yourself when you're doing these kind of things. So I hope this video helped understand that the weight in grams does not equal the weight in macros or the macro itself. 25 grams of chicken does not equal 25 grams of protein. That's the basic concept of what I'm trying to explain to you. So again, I hope this helped. If you have any questions or you have any comments or concern, you can comment below or you can DM us. Welcome to the district.